Hey everyone, welcome to Camping with Steve. I'm mailing it in this week with a clip show. Uh, there are ups and downs to the grieving process, and this week um, I just didn't have it in me to go camp somewhere like that or something for the night. Uh, don't worry, I will, but uh, it was just been a tough week for me. So I went through and I've curated a few of the uh, <laughs> failures, how there always seems to be some disaster happening in a video. And uh, a few of my favorites there, so pop some popcorn and uh, sit back and enjoy. Okay, got everything we need. Um, I found a little kid's camping chair. Unfortunately, it's decorated with Paw Patrol, but that's all they had. And uh, when I got into the back of the car, I discovered this. That's how cold it was. Yikes. Yeah. Not what you wanna see in a rental car. Um, but it was just club soda, thankfully. Nothing sticky like pop. Okay, we got a vehicle that stopped right there, backed up, and put on his lights, and I don't know if it's a cop, but it might be. That's 100% the police. 100% the police. can hear them talking to each other, but we're gonna lay low here because even a bylaw infraction, we don't want um, our guests from the states here to get in any trouble. Okay, so what did you guys think of that? So, uh, we were already as strung out as can be. We were a little bit on the strung out side. But, so now I'm even more strung out because that <sighs> It was stressful. It was very stressful. Because <laughs> we've had a run-in with the cops before like yeah. this. And yeah. that would not be cool in a different country. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Another couple coming down the trail. So should we go back? afraid of is a dog running up to the campsite. Woo. Okay. 
somebody walked down the trail. Somebody was following them another 20 feet back and they stopped. And I'm gonna shut up for a second. And then, uh, yeah. 10 minutes later, they're back down the trail with flashlight. And this is a residential area. People obviously have a right to be concerned. But someone's out in the woods. Um, for no reason, on a cold night, behind their house. coming. Oh man. In the cold. In the cold I need the dexterity to untie these knots. So gloves are not an option. here or that's the police and the straps broke on the backpack I was worried about that I have to do some surgery on that yeah that's the ride good okay um, that was interesting okay time to get out of here and uh, see what I can do uh, yeah great The only wildlife we saw here. Uh, no Bigfoot, but uh, a lot of hoof prints and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go grab a, a touch more sleep because I didn't get pretty, pretty much a wink of sleep last night. It was a brutal one. Uh, uh, yeah, we are on Crown land, but I guess there's a grazing lease on this uh, on this little piece of property here, uh, this whole section here. So anyway, back to bed. I need a little more sleep. Vehicle out there. Oh, trespassers. There is a vehicle out there. Like, actually, it sounds like it's coming. Maybe we should turn on the door here. Yeah. Let's turn on the door. Let's oh, oh, there they are. Yeah, I can see. Oh, great, they're shiny too. Did you see? Yeah. I think they did, because they got that little spotlight that they shine. There they are, they're still there. Yeah. They're coming back. Okay, great, here we go. Okay. Okay. Camera just not on. They're coming back, look, there they are. Yeah. Hopefully they see the danger tape and they don't come in. Okay, yeah. That was uh, definitely uh, Definitely a cop. Oops, that was the flashlight. But we're sitting right here. Trying to cook a nice.
nice Thanksgiving dinner. Turn off the light, Glenn. Oh, crazy neighbor. There he is again. Time to chill. Uh, we're just hiding out here. I can hear his engine running, but he definitely had his spotlight on, going up and down the uh, the road there. I don't know if uh, <laughs> the danger things made him think twice, or if we had too many lights on in here. But we're just going to wait for him to put away, and I think we'll all be good. Uh, well, okay, that was something. He's drove off now. <laughs> I guess we'll lay low for we'll lay low for a little bit here. <laughs> oh, man. That gets the blood pumping. <laughs> okay, the fire is burning. Packaging is burning from everything else. And for dinner, beautiful wife has whipped up. A salad. I'm gonna see what's in the fridge and try to make this work. than I anticipated and that all just blew over. So I've thrown it back together. I put some boulders around the outside. Easy enough. Yeah, this isn't stealthy um, at all. In fact, it's borderline dangerous uh, in this type of a setup. Shield some of that, uh, shield some of the flame from the road. That's a little better as long as the smoke isn't as much of a heat score as the flames are. I am not looking over the edge. I am not looking over the edge. That is a big right there. Oh, great. Oh, great. I can't believe I'm doing this. Foresty is taking that path. I'm going on this side. Uh, I, I, I'm going the same direction, just on a, on a training trail. Okay, that didn't work well. We've got, seems like hail coming down. Trying to cover things up. That rolled in quicker than I thought. And uh, it's kind of a uh, big So basically, I'm just gonna hunt her down as much as possible here in this uh, wonderful <laughs> hailstorm. We we didn't get any uh, storms all summer, but yeah, being underneath of a tree is about the best place you can be in this situation. I'm kidding. However, okay, garbage bag to the rescue. We've uh, 
got my garbage bag poncho on right now and we're just going to kind of wait for all this to blow over in some ways um, hopefully one of the worst things that can happen when you're winter camping is that your uh, white truffle oil freezes solid on you so you gotta thaw it out on the rack Okay, here we are. Stepping out onto the boulevard. Now we're gonna actually look in. Okay, yeah, you can yeah, pretty much see something there. That's for sure. But, uh, you know, that's the full light test. This thing is, you know, clearly visible. I'm gonna walk around the whole thing just to give the sense of it. Uh-huh, uh, yeah, that's not bad. That's with the full light blazing, uh, throwing caution to the wind with everything. Yeah, no, I don't see, I don't see too much in there. Walk around, walk around the other side here. As long as I don't trip in anything. Maybe that's something to trip on. All right, coming from the other side. This is the road I worry about. Oh boy, they've got an actual security guard there. They have an actual security guard at the construction site. Uh, his lights are blinking. Yeah, no, I think it's Oh sh he's coming. He's coming. He is coming. And I got all these lights going at the camp. So that's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. And there he is. With the light. With the light going. This is the most scary again. And he's got a light. And he's got a light going. Back can I go. We got a problem. We got a big problem. We got a big, big, big problem. Okay. Oh, great. Good morning. The uh, wildfires aren't a concern, which is good, but Looks like this outside. That's bad. So, beautiful wife is gonna come fetch me and I have told her to go slow on the roads for sure and be super careful because we don't want any problems here. I got a call. She says she's here. I'll go around to the front to try and uh, There she is. Hi there, I can see ya. Huh. All right, and we'll get in the car, drive around, load this stuff up, and get out of this, uh, <laughs> this winter wonderland that seems to keep happening to us. Wow, unbelievable. Well, uh, good thing I didn't get into bed right away because the snow has began, and it's a little worse than what the weather forecast was saying uh, this is going to be a fairly serious snowfall by the looks of things by the time the morning comes and I'm gonna have to do something because everything is getting covered in snow um, thankfully I got a trick up my sleeve um, I brought a fly for a hammock so I'm gonna 
rig that up somehow to try and uh, keep this snow from burying me in the night. I made myself a hot dog stick. It cost me dearly. Uh, this is what I had for a band-aid, but that was that stupid ax, it's way too sharp. Okay, so there's a car coming, so I certainly cannot uh, just crawl in there. And actually, I think that's a peace officer, which is even better. Um, oh no, that's, that's a safety patrol, and they've just stopped. Okay, this is bad, and I don't know what to do. So I'm just, he's going to come around and probably talk to me. I'm going to say there's a bird here. I was trying to get on film. Yes, there he is. Excellent. Oh, community safety patrol. And there he goes. Let's do this. Cook it slowly. Oh yeah, I think that'll work. Just sit there and cook and hopefully not overflow all over the place. Okay, it's bad. It's like Kevin spilling the chili bad. Oh my. Well, there we go, it's a meal for one now. Butane stove? Let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, that sounds, ow! Okay, don't mind about that. Uh, we'll figure this out. But that looks a little more reasonable, okay, good. I really don't know what to do. Um, boy, it's a pickle. Great, the old tent blew off. This is really bad. Up here, and try to. Stop this thing from going away. Now you're camping with Steve. Wow. Okay. I really don't know what to do now. Oh my. Okay. A couple of eyes looking at me. Two sets of eyes looking at me. There's, there's a couple of moose out there, I think. Yeah, those are big animals. to get back into the car. There's a moose looking right at me. I normally try to avoid moose, if at all possible. I know they're dangerous during certain times of the year, and I just don't want to chance it. I called Crazy Neighbor and asked, how dangerous are these things? And he says, the rut is over now. And they apparently don't know it's hunting season. So I'm going to wait till they move on a little bit. My temperature here is showing minus 3 degrees, so it's not too, too cold. All right. Well, hopefully you were shaking your head in disgust during all of that. I know I was editing it. The joys of leaving the bloopers in the final product. So um, I'll give my shout outs to the Beer Donation folks. I normally don't do this on a clip show video or an update uh, unless it's a full-blown stealth camping or a good video. However, there's birthdays that are urgent to get up. I can't just be late on those for a couple of weeks. Um, then I'll get in trouble. So uh, thank you all and also thank you to veterans, uh, 
members of the military, you're all doing a fantastic job at keeping us safe. And you camp in crazier places than I ever would. And uh, uh, my hat goes off to you all. I should have done my hair. So my hat goes off to you all. And uh, we will see you all again next Thursday. Cheers. Stay stealthy.